Welcome back to Frostpunk, the Arcs. Now, we have the current mission is to employ at least two automatons in the coal industry and one in the raw food industry. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. We have about five days left of rations, so we don't need those engineers working in the hothouse anymore. Which means we have ten unemployed engineers. As long as we don't have steel, um, there's not much I think they are usable for. Viscount Betterbite is hanging around here. No gatherable resources in range. Okay. Wait, it says the road is not connected to the generator? That must simply be because it hasn't... Um gotten around to getting the road built yet. Let's build that there. Four point six per hour. That's not too shabby. Could be better. Currently we can did remove some discontent by uh, turning off the overtime in many buildings. Well, not the factory. The temperature map, everything looks okay. to assign an automaton to that building. Can we build... We currently have enough wood, so I don't think that's an issue. What we want to build is a coal mine. Now, how does this line up with the road? Not perfectly, but... Good enough, I would say. Icon Betabyte will be working on that. Oh, we haven't named this guy yet. Uh, this will be Baron Escal. Baron Escau can mine steel together with Duke Peps. Viscount Betterbite will be working on the road and building the coal mine. Now, where is Viscount Junefix? Ah. It's not, ba it's not Baron Junefix, it's Viscount Junefix. There we go. It feels very proper to use these uh, very British titles on uh, these automatons that belong in the uh, remnants of the Great British Empire. Do you go to this one and recharge there? Because if you do, that is highly useful. Oh, that is so useful. 
You, on the other hand, you walk away because you want you both want to recharge at the same time. Uh, we have enough steel now, so let's start researching mechanical calculators. Do we have enough to build another automaton? No, we need 95 for that. Let's assign uh, Viscount Betterby to that building. Also, we want to build a steam hub here, I guess. Now, oh, what's going on? A letter of thanks. Sir, an engineer is here to see you. He has a letter to you from his team. My workers asked me to deliver this. They are plain people, so it reads like bad poetry. But here's the gist of it. They want to thank you, sir. The sight of this automaton working tirelessly in the inhuman cold, where previously they toiled and suffered, is something worth living for. I'm glad to hear that. Hope will rise slightly. We can build another coal mine. I'm not that concerned with the uh, destruction of the uh, frozen trees in this little area. Probably can also upgrade this one to a steam sawmill. We have five ration, five days of rations, so we're all good on that. These engineers we can uh, take out of the building. Huh. I'm still appalled at the fact that I had to pass that law. Now what? Serious accident. Sir, there has been an accident. An automaton has stepped on a man, crushing his leg and crippling him for life. People argue that the automaton should walk more slowly and carefully, even at the cost of their efficiency. Um, we can't afford it. We need to build a care house quickly. I want that to be in that temperature zone. But that's a good location. And we also need to make prosthetics now. Mechanical calculators have been researched. What does this do? Five less steel. Twenty wood and twenty less steel to make. I think we need to focus on the um, generator power upgrade first and foremost. I don't want to be left here without that because that would be devastating. Night is coming. Put down your tools. Let's put these buildings back into working overtime. Achievement unlocked. Once more unto the breach. What does that do? Uh, provide an amputee with a prosthesis. Okay. We can pass a law. Organic fertilizer. That is really horrible. What 
We'll take the uh, extra rations for the ill. give them 10 food rations and then I wanted to build a road from here down there but I think we'll stop there probably should have built that care house differently what does a care house cost yeah i should have built it like that okay let's tear it down again and then build a new one wait What's the zone of this thing? Not far enough. How about this thing? Probably should keep the speed there for the moment. Okay, so if I build a care house... No. So it doesn't really matter which of these two spaces I take. Both of them will require that I build another um, steam hub or that I get the uh, extended steam hub um, range so we'll just build it there and we'll build the road all the way over there I think we need one more automaton. If we can ever get enough of them. then it's time to turn on the steam hubs and the heater and I think that's good This one we can shut off. I thought I'd turn this one on. go generator power upgrade research we don't need it at steam level two at the moment so let's keep it at steam level one now we also want to upgrade the steam hub range we have a spare automaton actually we have two spare automatons so tear that one down and put one in there and I want to build... Rather, I want to send one automaton down to that building. The search for steam cores. Captain, we've run out of steam cores. We know there are some industrial ruins to the north and south. We might find more steam cores there. Misty Valley and South Pass discovered. Excellent. Um, we have plenty of people, so let's send 
one scout party there and another scout party there just checking that everything is up to speed on this to this we have four days left of rations build another automaton and let's check this is the ruby greenlander this will be baron oh i seem to have managed to turn on caps lock this will be baron killerkind stock automaton Sir, an automaton has entangled itself hopelessly in its assigned building. We can't free it without at least partially dismantling one or the other, and that means shutting down either the automaton or the building. I shut down the coal mine. You shouldn't do that, better bite. Getting yourself tangled up like that. Generator efficiency. Another automaton is ready. Speed it down. This will be Sir Groundbuster. And let's assign Groundbuster to the hothouse. The city is autonomous. Excellent work. The seedling arcs are now being safely maintained by the automatons. All critical operations are secured, and we still have time to spare before the storm hits. If we are to have a shot at surviving, we have to gather as many supplies as we can. Hope prices. We have 15 days to prepare for the storm, so we need to build houses, to expand the, expand the expeditions, gather 8,000 coal, and gather 500 food rations. That shouldn't be so difficult. Um, coal. Okay, so we have two on wood, two on coal, and one on steel. And we need the uh, the increased storage capacity for those things. We can remove this little tidbit of road. I'm saving the steel currently, even though we could build another automaton. I'm saving it for um, research. In case you're wondering, also we are... We need more steam cores, so... slows down at five. Scouts have reached the South Pass. Steep rock faces protect us from the wind, but we fear a rock slide could happen at any moment. Search might provide wood. New prospects. 
Traversing the narrow pass while avoiding the falling rocks and small avalanches was perilous, but we managed to get through. The observations made from the pass revealed several sites in the area worth exploring. Sites discovered broken tree and barren hollow. We have to scout these new locations and we get 134 wood. Um, let's send them to the barren hollow, I think. The ones closest to the storm first, please. We remember how that went. Generator efficiency upgrade has been researched. Excellent. Now we need improved heaters. We can pass a new law. Triage. I do not want to pass. So let's go with the public house. Scouts have reached the Misty Valley. The air here is still. The trail ahead disappears in a milky haze. Even in the middle of the day, it feels like twilight. Safe passage. A narrow path we were investigating led onto a large flat landscape. The snowy plains we have discovered seem promising. We've already observed a dozen places worth exploring. Sites discovered, windswept snowfield. We have to scout the plains. 69 metal and 111 coal. Let's just send them on to the snowfield. We need to find the uh, more of the steam cores, so. tomorrow the temperature is going to drop down too. Huh. You know what? Just in case. Just in case. Tech steam hub. Build one of those here. No, that's too close to the uh, grave site. Um there and also I want one out near this place just in case I, do, I don't want to end up with uh, people dying or the arcs dying because the heaters are not efficient enough wait a second do I have the upgraded range for the steam oh, I do so this one is covered by a steam hub now. Then I don't need to build that. There. But I will I will build it there anyways, because in case I want to build more buildings here. Okay. So these two are overlapping. It's good. I build it there, I suppose. There we go. Technology researched. Let's do heater efficiency upgrade. surplus of coal but we definitely need to um, get more efficiency on the coal mining if we are to get 8,000 coal
Do I have five steam hubs online? One, two, three. Why? One, two, three, four, five, six. Why are they? Well, I guess they're not pulling out resources. What's going on now? Beacon report. A figure in the distance. Sir, we've noticed something in the distance. A small black dot in the white desert moving slowly towards us. It's possible it might be a survivor. Wait and see. These guys have arrived at the Barren Hollow, a distinct spot in Frostland. We can use it as a waypoint for further exploration. New landmark. Our search hasn't uncovered anything of value, but we may be able to reach some more promising locations from here. Sites discovered. Snowbound Dreadnought and Ruined Warehouse. Let's go to the Dreadnought first. I need workers in this building. Scouts have reached the windswept snowfield. Another one of these uh, that just discovers new sites. Frozen pond and supply trailer. Let's go to the... It's way too long. Go to the frozen pond first. Storm is getting ominously close. I'm not sure we're going to reach that. pass a new law, so let's pass the moonshine law. And I probably also should build a public house. I think I'll build that there. Yeah, because turning this around doesn't really make much sense. It's covered by the uh, steam hub, so that's fine. Let's build some roads around it. Oh, you can do it, you can do it. We've reached the frozen pond, another distinct spot. Um, let's go to the supply trailer first. How close is that storm now? Uh, it is very close. I'm not happy with this. Heater efficiency upgrade researched. Then let's do the generator power upgrade too. Okay, now we need to check the temperatures. Is that enough? 
This one is chilly. This one is chilly. Can I turn that off? Turn that one off. But we definitely need to go to steam level 2. Scouts have reached the snowbound Dreadnought. An old abandoned Dreadnought that's been completely covered in snow. It's been here for a long time. Pioneer vehicle. This land Dreadnought wasn't designed for this kind of weather. And yes, it is definitely the Dreadnought. Presumably it was part of one of the prospecting expeditions before the Great Winter. We found some priceless resources here. 127 metal, 3 steam cores and 171 coal. Let's take that and send them to the ruined warehouse. Um, you know what? I'm going to take some engineers out of one of these buildings. Or even better. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. The heater isn't enough to keep it warm, so we need to turn on the... Uh, good thing I noticed. Need to turn on the, the steam hub. Which means that we're running a deficit, massive deficit on coal at the moment. Yeah, let's create another of these and send it to the broken tree. Mm, this is uh, ideal. I think we need to build a coal thumper. Put that there. This is too cold to do anything. We have enough rations, so I'm not going to bother with that. But this is a good uh, cliffhanger spot to uh, end the episode, I think. So uh, that's exactly what we'll do. Thank you all so much for joining me, and I will see you all in the next one.